everybody. It's Robin from Raincross Farms Makery. Welcome to our crafting studio. Um, my name is Robin. Bill is usually here. He's upstairs. It's going to take him a minute, I think, to get down here. But anyway, I'm kind of on my own at this very second. So pop in, say hello. Let me get my bot up and going and get some comments pinned. And how is everybody? Happy, what is this, Tuesday evening. Let's get that saved, published, yay. Okay, now let's get this up and going. Anybody there? Hello, let's see. Oops, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Hi, Kita. Hey, Bill. I'm just starting without you. I'm just starting without you. Let me get the comment pinned. Pinned comment. And write a comment. Get it going. I hope you have had, hope you have had a great day, great week so far, and it's not letting me, it's not letting me pin that. I don't know why. I don't know why. Bill usually does this. Hey, Patty. Okay. Hello, everybody. Anyway, Bill's coming. He is going to pin that comment and he's going to get the comments up on my screen and we will be good to go and yay! So thanks for hopping on and we hope you will give our page, uh, give our video a heart. If you will follow our page, if you will sprinkle our page out to your friends, your crafty friends, um, any craft groups you belong to, we would certainly appreciate it. All of this helps Facebook uh, take notice of us and that tells them that we are putting out some quality content that people are interested in. So they will help us by sharing it out with other people. So we appreciate all of these things that you can do to help us. So, thanks so much. We're going to do a, hey, Alana, it says you're watching. I haven't seen a comment yet. Anyway, how's everybody doing? Thanks for hopping on. Say hello. If you're new, let us know you're new. Let us know where you're watching from, and we can give you a proper welcome. Anyway, today's project is is going to be something kind of, um, kind of, not simple, but it's not too it's not too elaborate. It's we're going to make over a project that I told you before. This is one of the things I love about chalk and some of our surfaces is our chalk paste is semi permanent. And if you put it on like a chalkboard surface or a non I love about oops, chalk um, and some of our surfaces is our so chalk paste is semi permanent. Twice. And if you put it on like a chalkboard good. surface or a there it goes. Anyway, I, I'm just talking everywhere. Anyway, um, if you put it on a chalkboard surface or a non-porous surface, you can remove it and re-chalk. So this I did in the summer. Here comes the sun. Well, there went the sun. It is getting on to winter and we're getting very little sun. So I'm going to change this up. This is This happens to be our bistro sign and I love it because look, it happens to have the same design on both sides, but I can put two different designs on it and I just love how it spins and it's that chalkboard surface and it is in stock, but I heard a rumor that once it is sold out, it's not coming back. They're going to retire it. So if you like this surface, you're going to want to get it soon. So I'm just going to unscrew this little knob up here and then this pops out. Set that aside. Now let me show you how we are going to clean off this surface. Am I missing anything? Not many comments tonight. A couple people watching. Say hi. People watching. You might be multitasking. And That's okay. And but I'm beating dog. You're beating the dog. Once. Oh, sorry. Once 
once you get your hand free, say hi, and then get back to whatever you're doing. Hi, Alana, you're here. It's been a while. I hope you get to stay, and it, it won't take too long. Anyway, so this, when our paste is dry, it is smudge and budge proof. It's not going to come off unless I really scrape at it. So to get it off, I'm going to just spray it with some water. And I'm going to let that sit for a second. And then I'm going to get my paste scraper. This is a plastic tool, and it's got this beveled edge. But it's plastic, so um, it's not going to scratch my surface. If you don't have one of these, hi, Liana, how are you doing? Uh, if you don't have one of these, you could use a uh, kitchen, a plastic kitchen spatula, or you could even use the edge of a credit card to do this. So I'm just going to let that that water kind of soak in and then I'm going to scrape the paste off with my paste scraper. So that water has kind of um, loosened up, kind of reliquified the paste so that I can scrape it off. Now you're looking at it and you're thinking, oh, that's not all coming off. Well, I'm not done yet. So I've got, I've got that top layer, that thick layer of paste off. And I'm going to get a paper towel and I'm going to clean up all of that gunk. Yeah. Paste scraper, wood floor <laughs> scraper. Oh yeah, that would work too. I don't think, I don't know if I said hello to you, Christina. Hello. No, Okay, so I cleaned off the initial, and you can still you can still kind of see it. Don't worry. Now I'm going to get my board eraser, and I'm going to use this to get the rest of that paste off. And ta-da! It is. It is clean. See, I got that much more off. So now my surface is completely clean. I'm going to do the same thing with the back side because we're going to, I think we're going to do two different, two different designs on this if we have time. That's one idea for a credit card. Yep. Bill's not a fan of credit cards. Neither am I. There you go. We don't even have any credit cards to scrape with. We'd have to use a debit card. Okay, so I can let it sit for a couple minutes, or I can just kind of get started on it, scraping that layer of paste off. Now, if I, if I chalked on a wood surface, it would not come off this easy because that wood is porous, and the paste is going to sink down into it. This is non-porous, so the paste hasn't absorbed any. Now, if you wanted to redo a project on wood, you could always sand it down and paint over it and reuse that surface. Okay, same thing. There's still some ghosting of the image there, which I'm going to get off with my board eraser. Okay, so you can still kind of see it. You'll kind of see it there. So, board eraser, and that will get those last little bits of paste off. Isn't that magical? It's and magical. I didn't, I didn't have to buy, I didn't have to buy a whole new surface, and I didn't have to store away something that was only good for summer. Summer's over. And I'm going to do something uh, wintry or Christmassy. And then when I'm done with that, I can scrape it off and I can put something new on it. Okay, so I've got that dried. So these are the two transfers that I picked out. We've done this one before, rocking around the Christmas tree. So this size fits our 5x7. These are our A-size transfers. So we're going to do rocking around the Christmas tree on one side. And here comes Santa Claus on the other? No. Oh. We are going to do Sparkle and Shine, It's Christmas Time on the other side. 
Sound good? Does that sound good? Okay, let me take a second to go back and turn off one of my things that I'm only supposed to leave on for a couple of minutes. That one, turn it off. There we go. Okay, so let's do rocking around the Christmas tree first because I'm just going to do this real easy with two colors. If you are interested in these supplies, type supplies in the comments, or I believe it's even in the pinned comment. I just gave you the link so you don't have to type supplies if you don't want to. And I still have water on my surface. And so here's rocking around the Christmas tree. And these are adhesive silkscreen transfers. So it's sticky back. And I think this is the first time I've used this particular transfer. And so I'm going to put some fuzz on the back. Otherwise, it's going to stick so tight to this surface that when I go to pull it up, I'm, I'm afraid I might stretch my transfer when I pull it up. Mr. Sparkle. You're not Mr. Shine. Okay, anyway, supply list, type supplies in the comments or click on that link. And I also put in that cart, supply cart, I also put in a um, palette pack of our paste singles, which is, let me show you. So I'm going to center this here. Make sure there's no air bubbles, make sure there's no lint under there. So these are, this is a paste packet. So it's a small amount of paste as opposed to uh, one of our jars. So I put in a paste, it's not a whole palette pack, it's, it's several different colors of paste, but it's the paste singles. So I put in these colors. So I put in our candy apple red, I put in bright white because that goes really good against this black surface. I put in meadow green and I put in shimmer silver and shimmer gold. So if you already have some of those or you want different ones, feel free to swap them out. Okay, so I've got that down. I'm going to do I'm going to do the star in gold and I'm going to do the Christmas tree in green. So that should go pretty quickly. Let me get my gold and my green. Okay, our shimmers, you can kind of see they kind of settle. It's got um, mica flecks in there. And when they sit for a while, some of those mica flakes kind of settle to the bottom. So when I'm using my shimmers, I like to give it a little stir right before I use it. Love that color of gold with the little sparkly shimmers. And just for good measure, I'm going to give my meadow a little stir. It doesn't have mica flakes, but they've sat for a while. It gets a little cold down here, and sometimes that causes, causes it to separate a bit. Okay, so I'm going to start with my shimmer gold and do that star. Scrape off the excess, and then I'm going to use my squeegee for the meadow green. So this is Chalkology Paste, which is chalk in paste form. It is thicker than chalk paint, and it's formulated to work with our silk screens to give you really good results. So I am just pushing through the paste through that screen and I'm scraping off the excess, putting it back in my jar. And now I'm going to peel this up. So I'm going to start at the corners, but I'm going to go to the middle and Ta-da! Isn't that pretty? Rocking around the Christmas.
Christmas tree. So easy. I feel like such an artist. And you saw what I did. I really did very little. Now, I'm not quite ready to clean this, so I'm just going to spray it with water so that paste stays damp until I'm ready to clean it. And I'm going to dry this again. And after it's dry, it's smudge and budge proof. But until it is dry, it will smudge. I don't want that to happen. So I'm going to just take my little dryer. This is just mild heat. Our paste dries really quickly. The shimmers might take an extra minute or two. But it dries really quickly. So what is everyone doing today? What how, how ready are you for Christmas? I feel very accomplished. Yesterday, I sent off, Bill took it downtown to the UPS store, I sent off a 42 pound box of Christmas presents to my children in California. We're in Idaho, so I've got them taken care of. So I just have to make Mr. Bill happy. Yeah. And he's already bought lots of his Christmas presents already and said, here, give me this for Christmas. <laughs> so, other than food-wise, and believe me, we in this place we have so much food, we are not going to starve. Patty has done her Christmas shopping. Yay! I usually... You know how wrapping is always, the buying is, seems like the hard part, but then now you have all this wrapping to do. I decided I wasn't gonna wrap their Christmas presents, so I went online and I bought some of those um, poly bags, kind of good sized poly bags that fit shirts and, and whatever, but they're in Christmas designs. And so I just stuck their gifts in that, ripped off the little thing and sealed that flap and. There's their Christmas wrapping. Hey, Kita, all her presents are done. Good for you. Okay, so this is dry, so we are going to do the other uh, side. Food shopping tomorrow. Food shopping tomorrow. Well, we probably should start thinking about, about our, our menu. You're painting ornaments right now. How fun. Okay, so I'm going to put this down on a towel just in case it's not quite solid yet. I don't want to scratch it. And I'm going to use our Sparkle and Shine. It's Christmas time. So I'm going to fuzz this one also. Well, you will have to, you'll have to send us a picture of some of those ornaments, Patty. My turn, Sparkle time. Are you sparkling? I am. Are you shining? Sparkle. I already said that. Okay, and again, I'm just putting some lint on the back, fuzzing, putting fuzz on it, just so it doesn't stick so tightly that I stretch it when I go to pull it up. Now, I don't have to wax the surface. The surface doesn't need any protection. Okay, so Kita, what, what, are, what is your menu for Christmas? We usually just do ham. I think one year we did prime rib. Maybe we'll do that since it's just the two of us. Oh, they just had that on sale at Winco when I was there. Oh, we'll have to go back. Yeah. I think it was like eight dollars a pound, but they had they had really small selections too if you wanted it to. Small Any pieces. Do we have any of that in the freezer? Number eighty seven? Did we get any prime rib from number 87? We have, well, we have probably now a quarter of a cow in our freezer. <laughs> we, uh, we ended up purchasing half a cow, and I think we have pretty much gone through all the ground beef. Now we have all the other cuts of meat. Okay, pushing it down, make, making sure it is uh, no air bubbles and no big chunks of lint underneath it. And let's see, I think what I'll do, because I like the contrast with the white, I think I'll do the letters, no. 
I think I'm going to do the letters in gold. And then I'm going to do the holly leaves in green, the holly berries in red, and I think I'll do the mittens in white. Does that sound good? Make sense? But I want, the, I want that gold for sparkle and shine. I want to make sure I use something make sure I use something shimmery. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna start with our shimmer because our shimmer takes a little bit longer to dry. Saw it at Stater Brothers for $5.77 a pound. Well, we are nowhere near Stater Brothers. Go figure. So we will have to check. Maybe we'll go online and see if Winco has an ad on it. So my shimmers give me a little extra dry time. So I'm going to start with those. All right. I'm back. Piece back and piece front. Okay, so I've got Sparkle and Shine, Christmas Time, and scrape off a little more of that. Okay. Now I probably have time to do a little bit more talking, but I want to show you what we call paste and peel. Making three different kinds of soup, having some snacks and desserts. We're making cookies on Sunday. Ooh, we had a soup. We had a soup Thanksgiving. That okay. was good too. It I was wish good. We could have some more. We can. We can, dear. Um, if when I'm using regular paste, if it dries in the screen, when I pull up the screen, it's going to pull up the paste. I don't want that. I want the paste to stay on the surface. So. When I'm doing a, a larger section and my paste is having a chance to dry, I'm going to stop partway through and I'm going to peel it up, release the paste from the screen, just like that, and then it's no longer attached to the screen. So, I'm going to just give it just a quick blast of air. Oh, he's got the cards. Is that the yep. questions the for humans cards? cards. Okay. Humans. Bill asked a question, which is the most overrated holiday? I know what I think. Don't say Father's Day. I'm going to see if anybody agrees with me. Okay, and I'm going to lay this back down. I'm not going to push down where I have already chalked because it might not line up. So I'm only going to push down where I still need to chalk. And now I'm going to switch over to my green for my leaves. Holly leaves in green. Do you? Alana said, do you? Do you? Well, good for you, Alana. I have no idea what you're asking. We probably do. She probably made a faux pas on the tapping in the question. <laughs> or she's talking to Libby. And Patty says Valentine's Day. Okay. Could be. It is pretty highly rated. Do you listen to Dr. John? Dr. John. Well, the only Dr. John I listen to isn't on the air anymore. That was a long time ago. Are you talking Sheriff John? No. Well, that would be one, too. <laughs> no, I was thinking about Dr. John, the funk, the funk master. Oh. Don't know. Okay. Now, I'm going to quickly do those red berries, and I'm going to, because it's kind of a small section, I'm going to use my multi-tool. It's got a smaller squeegee, and I'm going to use my K2 
candy apple paste to do those berries. And I'm going to stop there. Uh oh. I don't know why that happens. There you go. I don't know. Video is not playing at the moment. Okay, so I'm going to again peel this up, just because I don't want it to dry in my screen. I think it just hiccuped. Did it hiccup? Mm -hmm. Oh, John Deloney. Oh, on yeah, Ramsey yeah, yeah. On Ramsey you shouldn't know the name. That's where we got the cards. Yeah, that's that's, where that's who you. That's where you heard about them. I don't think we ordered them yes. from him. Yeah, I think we ordered them from Amazon. Okay. Well, yes, but it was it was because of that. Okay. Yes. Um, I think I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna do those snowflakes in gold, and then I'm gonna go back and do the mittens in white. Just because I like that pop of sparkle. <laughs> because that hiccup, all my videos and audio and everything is off. Uh oh. I'm gonna restart my my audio video. Okay, and I'm going to clean this off. I'm going to use my multi-tool again with the white. Make sure it's clean so I don't have pink in it. Okay. And we'll do those mittens and the bow. So, any other overrated holidays? I, maybe mine, I don't know if, I don't know if mine is overrated. I can tell you my least favorite holiday that I would be happy if it would just go away. I think I know what that one is. You think so? I think I know. Of course, I, I'm a little, you know. You hear about it. I hear about it, yeah. You hear about it every year. Okay, I think I'm done. Scrape off the excess. And let's peel this off. Cute, cute, oh, that's cute. Okay, see now when when it um, curls up like that, that's because it was stuck really tightly, and I kind of stretched it when I pulled it up. It's salvageable. It's not it's not a big problem, but that's what we're trying to avoid. That's why I put fuzz on it. So I must not have gotten too much fuzz down there in the bottom. So here is here is sparkle and shine. It's Christmas time pretty okay Alana agrees with Valentine's Day I wonder if I wonder if Valentine's Day can be the most um, not offensive but bye Alana watch the replay I wonder if Valentine's Day can be the most uh, bothersome to some people if you don't have if you don't have that romantic peace in your life. Like you? You don't have anything romantic in your life? Nope, not a bit of romance. None whatsoever.
Okay, so let me dry this and let me clean my transfer so you can see how to do that. So these, these transfers are reusable. The company guarantees between 10 and 12 times you can reuse them, but I happen to know that if you clean them up really well, pretty quickly after you use them, you can get a lot more. You can get 20 or more uses out of them. And the only reason they are no longer usable is if, is if the stickiness on the back goes away. And even then, there's, there's ways around that. Okay, so I sprayed these with water so the paste is still a little damp. I'm going to give it another spray. And I like to start with either a paper towel or this is a Swedish dishcloth, one of those reusable dishcloths. It's my wedding anniversary, so I just want it all to yourself. Oh, Valentine's Day. Hey, Christy. Okay, so I start with this, and I just take that first layer of paste off. It is by no means completely clean this way, but this, I think, kind of saves wear and tear on my board eraser that I'm going to pull out next. <laughs> yes, Bill, Christy was calling you beautiful. Okay, so I've got, I've got a lot of that stuff off. Paper towel, I would just trash. This I'm going to rinse out and reuse. Now I'm going to switch over to my board eraser. Much like similar composition as a uh, magic eraser. These have no chemicals and they work great at pulling off all of that paste. So my goal is to get it out of the screen. Now green and red are very highly pigmented. So you, you'll see it kind of stains, it kind of stains the plastic. You can kind of see there's still some green on the plastic. That's not a problem as long as you have cleaned the paste out of the screen. And I'm going to turn this over because I have pushed some of that paste through to the back. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to spray it. Now, actually, the best way to clean these is probably to, to rinse them out in the sink with your board eraser. But my sink is upstairs and not convenient, so I'm just cleaning them up this way. This way is perfectly fine. Sometimes when I use the larger transfers, those are a little unwieldy, and I end up cleaning those out in the bathtub. <laughs> oh, you cutie, Bill. She's assuming you're a cutie. Of course I am. <laughs> okay. So I've got all of the paste cleared out of that screen, so it is good to go. I'm gonna let this air dry. And while it's still wet, it's not, the back is not sticky. Once it dries, that stickiness will return, will reactivate. Once they're dry, I'm gonna put them back on their little backer sheets, shiny side to the sticky side, and put them back in their little uh, plastic pouches and they'll be good to go for the next for the next use. So let's put this back together. So again, there's a little post here and there's a screw up here, so we just put that in. Do line I that now? up. Do I see it now? Um, not yet. Okay. Cuz we're not done. Are you going to go extra on me? We're going to do just a little extra. So here is our bistro sign, so it's double sided. You, can, you don't have to put something on both sides. You can put the same thing on both sides. So any of our vertical uh, five by seven A size transfers will fit on this. We are going to put, we're gonna dress it up just a little bit, not outrageous. We're gonna just put a little bow down it's here on bow. the base. So let's see, I pulled out some ribbon. And I think, I think I'm gonna use this ribbon. I like this ribbon. This is what Santa's workbench is from Joann's. And it is, this happens to be a two and a half inch wide ribbon. It's got a wired edge. Not that that matters. 
Patty says she really likes it, and Chrissy says, how are you both? Bill, are you staying out of police car? <laughs> um, well, you haven't been in one for I a while. I have been in the back of a police car in quite a while. Okay, so I'm going to trim this off and give myself more than I need. I'm going to just, I'm just going to tie a regular shoelace bow. <laughs> Did you ever say what you were what was oh. overrated holiday oh. for you? Did everybody else say theirs? Didn't we only had a couple oh. people? Okay, my the the holiday that I think is overrated is Halloween. 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 I just I don't know. I am not a big fan of Halloween. All right, I got another question coming. This okay. should do something. So, so I don't know if it. I like your new microphone. <laughs> I don't. I don't have a microphone. <laughs> I lost part of it, so I, it's just the microphone on my phone. So, the the figure. microphone that you're hearing is straight off the phone, and it's because it's in between the two of us, so you can hear us both very well. <laughs> you're not supposed to hear me that well. Christy says Christmas is is one that's Christmas, overrated. Oh, it, it can be. It can kind of get out of control okay so I'm not making I don't know if you can see what I'm doing I'm just because it's not double-sided I'm having to do some some twisting and turning so that the pretty side shows and that's not perfectly even but that's okay and I'm going to dovetail this. And dovetail this. And this just adds a little bit. A little bit of something, something. A little bit of sparkle and shine. Oops. Okay, okay I got a new question up. Okay. Oh, plus her birthday is Christmas Eve. Oh. <laughs> well, there you go. Okay, so here's here is here is my little bow, and you can see it because I because I I put it on this side, just this shows. I can either spin this around or I can just twist that around, either way. So that is that is our project for tonight. So I hope okay. you enjoyed that. I asked a question, and okay. I do need to answer this one, because I think I know yours, too. <clears throat> Name two or three CDs or records you ash you're ashamed to admit you owned. I'm not ashamed of Donny Osmond. <laughs> not in the least. <laughs> or David Cassidy. Was it Go Away, Little Girl? <coughs> what was Donny's? What was the... Oh, I had, I'm sure I had all of them. I got into those uh, buy ten for a dollar, and then you only have to buy five more over the next 10 years and what Columbia Record Club we got all of them I am not ashamed I don't know I wasn't it, ashamed of any do I have any that no. I was ashamed what was the first album you ever bu remember I buying I don't remember I don't remember I know what mine was OMJ by Olivia Newton John oh. and I bought it because of the cover okay <laughs> swimsuit edition <laughs> No, no swimsuit edition. Oh, Sean Cassidy. A little different generation. There you go. Yeah, he was a little young for me. But I liked his older brother, David. Okay, so here is our project. I'm going to pose with it. That's fine. I'm going to show you both sides. So again, our bistro sign. I love this sign. Very versatile. Um very classy with or without the bow and again the rumor i'm hearing is once they are sold out they are discontinuing them so if you like this sign you want to get it you're oh you got kiss <laughs> i never got kiss i inherited some beatles albums but did you ever but i didn't to them? buy them I'm, yeah, i did i was a little bit behind the beatles they were, they were more five years or so before I was interested in music. Anyway, um, if you want to get this Surface, it's awesome. 
it okay, is. Okay, here, start over. Okay, let's get to starting. <laughs> so you can type supplies. You'll get the, the supply list. Look under products, and it will give you the list. You can, you can take a look at that cart, Elvis. add, subtract, whatever you need. Elvis. I don't think I had any Elvis albums. I listened to Elvis. I didn't ever have, I don't think I bought anything except his Christmas. Mm -mm. I have his Christmas album. I have to listen to it today. Okay, no stars unless you start over. <sighs> well, you know what? You what? started over when you started over because you started over with that board and you changed there it. There you go, I started, yeah. I started over, whatever. <laughs> Ken, you can keep your stars. <laughs> Get here on time. <laughs> Anyway, uh, one other thing I want to tell you about. If you are, if, if you're looking at this and you're thinking, oh, that looks kind of complicated. If you want to, if you're interested in just trying out chalk, I have a little sample kit. That's backwards. I have a little sample kit available. It comes with a little mini transfer, a paste packet, one of our chalk tags. This one's already finished. It comes with a... Um, squeegee so if you are interested in a sample kit you can type sample in the comments and follow that link that product link to sample kits and take a take a look michael jackson okay i don't think i owned any michael jackson albums but i listened to him he was the same era as donny osmond you had. I will have to say, I did have a bigger crush on David Cassidy because I went to school with Donny Osmond's self proclaimed biggest fan. And she was, let me tell you, she was over the top. And so I just didn't want to compete with her. So I switched over to David Cassidy. Anyway, Partridge Family, good old days, good old days. Okay, so anyway, thanks for hanging out with us. Thanks for sprinkling. Thanks for any stars. Thanks for commenting. Thanks for following our page. Bread, Beatles, Credence, Credence Clearwater, CCR, John Denver. Listen to them, but never... Didn't didn't buy their albums. Cindy Lauper, Bread, Bread, uh, Bobby Sherman. Bread's, wow. Bread's greatest. I think it was called Greatest Hits. It was my one of my favorite albums. It was the second album I ever bought. Yeah, yeah. I had I had a moment with Bobby Sherman too. <laughs> just just a just a That's short funny. moment. Had a moment with. Had a uh, moment. <laughs> okay. It's been fun, and tomorrow morning I will be doing a segment on Craft Round the Clock, so you don't want to miss it. I'll be going on, just my light just dimmed. I'll be going on at 10 o'clock Pacific time, so if you're available, please join us and see what our fun craft is. It's going to have something to do with will this, I believe. It will be adorable. Oh, not cute. It'll be adorable. No, not a, was not a Beatles fan. I like their music. I mean, I wasn't a fan of them. I didn't, I wasn't all ooh, over the Beatles. Okay. Anyway, again, thanks a lot. Have a great rest of your evening. Hopefully we'll see you tomorrow morning on Craft Around the Clock. And if not, just keep waiting for our notifications when we go live. And we'll see you later. Thanks. Bye-bye.